Hey guys, back again with Dragon Blogger and the Dragon Touch A1X. I just uh, I plugged it in to see, you know, to charge it up so that I can give you guys an, a nice walkthrough of, you know, when you turn it on, what you what to expect. Turns out I didn't need to charge it at all. It was fully charged, so that's a nice thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for the first time. Nice little loading sequence. That's kind of nice. Alright, so you're in. Basically how it looks. Make yourself at home. You can put your favorite apps here to see all your apps touch the circle. Look at that. Standard. Just a little standard uh, walk through choose some apps I'm gonna turn that one on but not really so standard stuff I don't know if you need to go oh so click OK alright so we're all good there now let's get online real quick that's weird comes Wi-Fi disabled so go ahead turn it on I don't know if I mentioned before, it has Bluetooth 4.0. Pretty nice. So, Wi-Fi enabled. Let's go in there real quick. My network. And I gotta put in my network password. So, let me go ahead and put that in. I will edit this part out. So, I'm good downstairs. Got good signal. I just connected. Not gonna show you that good stuff. So, not that I don't love you guys, but yeah. So, it's got all the standard stuff here. It's a standard tablet. System update, let's see, it's model A1X, as you all know. Android version 4.4.2. Great thing about this tablet, like the bigger ones can do, the smaller ones typically can't do. This one can do updates. I don't know I don't know right now if they're over the air updates, but it can do updates at least that's what they say. So I'll do some more research on that. I'll write that in the review. Processor type quad core A31S series. Pretty cool. Cool. Volume. Minus or plus pretty cool mine doesn't have that um can print from it too i didn't know that okay so standard stuff here airplane mode tethering vpn mobile networks mobile plan pretty cool so as of right now pretty standard go in the play store I gotta add my Google account, so I'll do this, but I'll edit this out. Alright, so I just went through that setup. Gives you the standard back and restore, communication, blah blah blah. Accept the terms of the license agreement. And we're online. Got all this nice stuff to download if you want. Again, you got the Google Play Store. You have your choice of what you want to download. And let's see what else. Play music. I don't have an account there. But it's there if you use it. You have your Google Maps. Kind of cool if you use it. I haven't used that. And then, like all Android devices, it'll keep them open if you want to use them later. I want to say battery. I don't know the battery life on this just yet. 
So I'll review that as well. And you have the camera. I believe the rear camera was 2 megapixels and the front facing was 0 0.08. Don't quote me yet, but I believe that's what it was. I will write that up in the review. Let's see what else. Pretty standard looking desktop. You can change it, of course. I will. App info. I'm not going to do that. Just trying to figure out some more things you guys might want to see. The plain old browser. Internet browser. You can use probably just about anything you want. Close that guy up. Well, he's open. So, we'll go here to... It's a pretty cool site I heard about. You guys don't know about it. Pretty cool website. It's www.dragonblogger.com. Show you guys that website later. Hey, if you've never seen it before, take a look at it. It's a pretty good site. I've, I've only heard. I don't know for sure. Cool website. Go ahead and close this guy out. I'm going to get some benchmarks on this guy and tell you what the results are and let you know anything else uh, cool I come up with. I'll come back to you guys soon. Thanks, guys.